everyone and thank you for tuning in to Alexandra Claire Hair. Today I wanted to do a tutorial which is inspired by looks uh, that Kate Middleton wears. Uh, she has a lot of statement uh, hats and hair pieces and I thought that that was really cool and since the royal wedding is going on I thought maybe there'd be a lot of hats at the wedding and a lot of people might even want to dress up and watch it. I know a lot of people uh, from my town are planning on getting up really early and watching it because we're on a different time zone. So um, I got these little vintage hats um, which are really cute and I'm just going to show you a couple ways that you can wear them besides just placing them on your head. And don't worry if you don't have any cool statement hats like these. Um, break out some cool headpieces that you have, some cool um, headbands, some nice barrettes, anything that you have that will draw the eye to your hair because that's what I'm all about anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. With a simple hat like this, you can simply just wear it on your head. It covers most of your hair on the top anyway, so you wouldn't even have to do anything to it. Um, you can tilt it a little to the side and maybe a little towards the front. Um, Kate Middleton often kind of tilts her hats to the side, but if you want to get a little more unique, you can pull your hair over to the opposite side, and you can make it into a cute side ponytail or even a bun. I'm going to take a small rubber band, put it in my hair. You can do a really cute side ponytail. Uh, you can even wrap a small section of hair around the rubber band and pin it in place so that you can't see it. Or you can do a cute little bun on the side. Just take another rubber band, loop your hair through it to create a bun. And if you have long hair, like I do, uh, make sure that there's a little more remaining and wrap that around where you can see the two rubber bands. And all you have to do is take a bobby pin or a hair pin and pin that hair in place. Hairspray will also help you form your bun into the desired shape. It's all for fun, just play around with it. Just like I did with the bigger hat, uh, you can take a smaller uh, statement hat. I love this one, it's very detailed with the feathers and the bow. And uh, it even has pins that help you slide it in your hair. And this really reminds me of something that Kate Middleton has worn um, on the side, covering her head a little bit like this. With a smaller hat, this looks really cool uh, hanging over your head. But if you want to wear it a different way, I found an alternative. All you need to do is tease your hair a little bit, starting with a front section. Tease the front section and move your way back layer by layer until you reach the crown of your head. Once you get your hair really teased, you can smooth it out a little bit with your comb or brush and give it a little bit of hairspray so that it keeps its shape. Then take a small section above one of your ears and wrap it around your head, pinning it in place with a bobby pin. Then take a small piece over your other ear, wrap it around your head, and pin it in that same spot, creating an X with your two bobby pins. If you need to, you can take a rat tail comb and pull your teased hair up to give it more of uh, the shape that you want it to be. This is where your hairspray will really come in handy. So now, to make it a little different, I'm going to place the hat on top of my poof so that you can really see it sticking out in the back and um, everyone can see your vintage hat. So if you're having troubles with your hat, if it's sliding, if it's windy outside, you're afraid it's gonna blow away, just take some hairpins or some bobby pins and all you have to do is slide it through your hair and through the hat. And that will really anchor it in place if you put it on both sides. Now if you don't have a cool vintage hat like this one uh, that you can wear when you're celebrating the royal wedding, you can break out some statement hair pieces like headbands. Um, and you can even wear them with the poof that we just made and place them right in the front so that you can see the poof in the back. And I really think that 
Um, all of Kate Middleton's looks are really just all about the statement pieces in your hair, um, whether it's a hat or a hair piece. This one's really cool too, it has feathers. Anything that's unique and just draws the eye to your hair. So thanks everyone for watching my Kate Middleton vintage hat inspired tutorial. Remember, it's all about having fun. I just know so many people who are talking about watching the royal wedding that's happening this weekend. Even though um, where I live, you'd have to get up extremely early to watch it. Obviously, people are going crazy over the royal wedding that's happening. So I thought that I would just do a fun tutorial uh, inspired by Kate Middleton's headpieces. So I hope you all enjoy the tutorial and uh, have a great day. Have fun watching the royal wedding. Bye.